Merry Christmas or whatever other holiday you celebrate. I am spending the holidays alone this year and I've actually spent it alone for the last I want to say like three years and I've loved it so far. But when you're first starting out, like maybe this is your first holiday alone, it can get pretty daunting and you might feel kind of lost. You're like, what am I supposed to do? What's going on? And you might feel lonely, especially if you didn't necessarily have a choice in the matter. When I first started spending the holidays alone, I remember feeling so absolutely freaking lost because before when I spent it with family members, Everything would be set up. Everything would be predetermined. I would just have to show up and I was just kind of like dragged from place to place. So the first time spending the holidays alone, I had this new freedom to do whatever I wanted and I was just lost. I had no idea what I wanted to do and I was like, do I do this? Do I do that? Do I just sit here? What's going on? But what I've learned so far is that it's your day, so you can make it however you want. If you wanna go big and you want to decorate the entire house with string lights and Christmas lights, and you wanna put up a huge Christmas tree and bake gingerbread houses, go for it. But if you don't necessarily want to celebrate it, you don't have to. This year for the holiday season, I'm not really gonna do much. I'm just going to have a very chill day, maybe bake a little bit of cookies, probably just read by the fire. Like that's the extent of what I'm gonna be doing today. But I wanted to share my day with you in the hopes that number one, it's going to help you feel a little bit less alone this holiday season. And number two, to kind of inspire you to understand what you wanna do by yourself this holiday season. Like it doesn't have to be extravagant. It could be extravagant if you want it to be, but it doesn't have to be. So I just wanted to show you mine. First things first, I always start the morning off by feeding the stray cats outside. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm outside right now and it's snowing. It's so pretty, but it's so freaking cold. I'll just show you, oh my God. You guys, it was so cold outside. I think I spent maybe like two minutes before my entire body started shaking and I was like, no, 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 no. So now we are inside. I made myself a cup of tea. I cleaned this fireplace heater thing and now we have a little bit of heat going and now we are going to decorate. I went out and I bought a couple of, you know, small decorations because I still wanted to get into the spirit despite spending the holidays alone. And you know, it's kind of funny that I am normally the type of person to start decorating for Christmas before Halloween. Like, yeah, I am that very insufferable person and I, I kind of apologize, but not really. So this is actually pretty late for me. I never thought that I would be decorating for Christmas in December. It's like at least the minimum November, but this year it's just a little bit later. But you know what? It's better late than never. So here we go. I also got this one. It's so pretty. These wooden Christmas things were so freaking cute. So I had to get three of them. <laughs> They're so cute. Whenever I tell people that I'm spending the holidays alone, everybody gives me this very pitying expression of like, oh my God, you poor soul. And I'm like, I'm okay. I'm, I'm good. And a lot of people ask me, they're like, why do you like spending the holidays alone? Let me tell you, for me, before I spent the holidays alone, I would always spend it with family members. And the thing about certain family members in my family, they are kind of 
toxic. I distinctively remember every single holiday season when we were meeting family members, I would kind of hide out of my room trying to avoid them as much as possible and I would be too anxious to eat anything, I would be too anxious to kind of do anything and after they left and after everybody was sleeping that was like when I was feeling better so that was when I would start eating and because I hadn't eaten for the entire day I would start binge eating so it wasn't really healthy mentally or physically so that's why being alone for the holidays is so freeing it's so nice that you don't have to deal with that it's so peaceful and what I really like about spending the holidays alone is the fact that you don't have to do anything you don't want to. You're redefining what it means to celebrate the holidays. You get to rewrite how you celebrate it and what you do by being alone. So for example, if you have certain family traditions that are kind of harmful or maybe you just don't resonate with them, you don't have to do them. Simple as that. In addition to not being forced to do things that you don't want to, you get to create new traditions for yourself. But my situation is kind of the, the opposite situation. I never had like family traditions growing up and I've always kind of wanted them. I've wanted to do the cheesy Hallmark making gingerbread houses with your family, decorating the tree with your family. Like I wanted that growing up and I never really got to experience that. So for example, oh my God, do I have to like rip this box open? Oh wait, there's tape here. I am a dumbass. I'm just gonna, okay. And then do we like open it like a like a like a pizza box? What is going on? Oh wait, wait, wait. Ah. Uh. Haha. <laughs> it is like a pizza box. It's like a giant donut. Giant Christmas donut. Is it weird that I kind of want to eat it? I, I kind of want to just take a big old bite. So my personal traditions that I've made thus far by being alone is number one, baking. I bake a lot during the holidays. I think I bake maybe like twice a week. So my oven is constantly working and I don't know, it's just, it's just really nice. Another thing I do for myself is watch a lot of comfort shows. My number one comfort show, hands down, is Bob's Burgers and specifically the Christmas episodes because it's the holidays, right? And this is kind of weird, but I also find a lot of comfort in horror game let's plays. So I've been watching a lot of Silent Hill Let's Plays for some reason. I don't know, it just, it just makes me feel at peace in a very ironic way. So my traditions, they're not like a big deal. It's very chill. It's like baking and watching a movie, that's it. But that's just what the holiday is all about. It's about peacefulness. It's about just kind of reflecting on yourself, just chilling. Put a wreath here and another one there and I've got this Christmas tree looks kind of like a dystopian Christmas tree I also have this one so we have two Christmas trees and pine cones it's actually looking a little bit bare I wasn't expecting this I, I thought I bought a lot more but it's okay decorations are up I think it looks pretty cute it's fine now that the decorations are up, I am actually going to bake some chocolate chip cookies. I don't know why, but I just kind of started craving chocolate chip cookies, so we're gonna make chocolate chip cookies. And the holidays is kind of synonymous to baking for me, so that's what we're gonna do.
I finished baking my cookies and I kind of over baked them a little bit so they're on the crunchy side but you know what I like them crunchy so it's okay and you can't have cookies without milk but I can't drink milk so I have tea instead so I didn't really do much today I saw the snow I fed the cats I baked cookies and now I'm here but I am having a pretty good day pretty good day and to be honest i know this is going to be a little sappy but life is all about the small things it's all about the little things and i'm really content with being alone for the holidays but in the beginning i wasn't i remember feeling so lonely because i was alone during the most joyful time of the year and I don't know, it just got to me. And if this is your first year spending the holidays alone, I get it. It definitely can be lonely and it sucks. Sometimes it sucks. But something that has helped me tremendously is to remind myself that it's just another day. I always thought of Christmas and like the holidays in general to be like this amazing, life-changing, spectacular, once in a lifetime experience kind of thing, but it's not. It's just another Sunday. Something else that has helped me is to put away social media. For the love of God, do not go on social media because you're gonna see pictures on Instagram of people's families, of their significant others, of friend groups, and they're all going to look like they're having the time of their life. And you are going to internalize that and be like, oh my God, I hate my life. It's it's bound to happen with social media. I think we often forget that social media is one sliver of a person's life, one moment of what's happening. And we don't know what this person is feeling. So there's no point in comparing. And I know that's hard. And I know that seems kind of impossible. So that's why you shouldn't go on social media in the first place, at least not today, okay? And if I could give one piece of advice to anybody who is struggling spending the holidays alone, I would just say do what feels right. It doesn't have to make sense to anybody else. Don't feel obligated to feel happy just because it's a holiday. I don't know what you're going through, only you know what you're going through. I think during the first holiday season I spent alone, I didn't leave my bed. I was just in bed, I cried a little bit, and I was just watching all of my comfort shows, all of my comfort videos, I was listening to music, I was eating in bed, and that was my holiday. And to be honest, I really needed that. So that was my first Christmas. My second Christmas, I was super busy. I decorated the entire house. I actually made like gingerbread cookies. I made peppermint flavored everything. And I had like Christmas music on 24 seven and I, everything. So every single holiday season was different for me what I needed, what I wanted to do, everything was different and it's going to be the same for you. So do what feels right. If you don't want to celebrate it, don't, it's fine. Just chill with like a nice book or a nice game or a nice movie or something. But if you do want to celebrate it, go for it. Put up decorations if you want to, sing songs if you want to, make a snowman if you live in a place where it snows. The beauty in being alone is that there's nobody to judge you. There's nobody that's going to tell you what to do and how to do it. You can do things on your own terms. But once again, do what feels right for you, whatever that means. As long as it's not like homicide or arson or anything like that, you know? I think I am going to retire by the fire because it's getting pretty late and i am already getting tired because i'm getting old so i have my book i have my cup of tea i'm in front of the fire i am living like a grandma i love it before i started spending time alone i kind of wanted excitement i wanted new adventures and everything and like still that is very exciting but I feel like I want more peace as I grow older and more experienced. Nothing beats sitting by the fire with a nice book, a nice cookie, a nice cup of tea, and just kind of like dozing off. Wow, that is like peak grandma, like peak grandma. I'm, I'm in a rocking chair too. Oh my God. I mean, if, if this is what makes me a grandma, then so be it, it's fine.
But anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I hope that it was peaceful and I hope that you had fun. I certainly did. And I will see you next time, hopefully sometime in the near future, probably in the new year. It is 2023 next year. It's 2022. Yeah, it's 2023 next year. Oh my god. So I will see you guys in the new year and I hope that you guys remember to take care of yourselves and to be a little kind and gentle to yourselves today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!